Hi there, and welcome back to Darlene's Creative Studio. I am going to do a really quick flip through of some of the book pages that I just finished sorting through my ephemera stash and what I'm going to add on to my Etsy shop. I'm trying to get rid of the last of this ephemera and then I'm done and I can get started on um, finishing some of my creative journals. Um, so the first thing that is listed that I'm going to show you that is listed is the book page botanical pages and all I've done is chosen six different pages and I put them in a little stack of six and I'm just going to do it that way so that everybody will get um, six pages of a variety of different botanicals. Um, I've gone ahead and put that in on my website and they are just going to be random. Um, I'm not going to have them listed by flowers because I don't know all the flowers and it'll just take too much time. Um, so these are nine and a half by um, probably s almost seven. Uh, and these, I think there's 15 different little packages. So that is one of the first things that will be going on there. So six pages of the botanicals in one package. I have listed these little strips for the Tetley Tea Tins. Um, they are three inches by nine and three quarters. And I think I'm just going to pick six random. I'm not going to give you like three that are from the same page. I'm just going to pick six random strips. So you may get colorful birds, you may get seagulls, you may get chickadees, whatever birds there are, I'm just going to pick six. And that is going to be in each of the packages. So six of each of the bird strips for the Tetley Tea Tins, if somebody wants to try that. I did rip up one of the bird books. It had a lot of text in it, but there were little tiny bird pictures in the corners of each of the pages. So I just went ahead and pulled out some of those. So these would be great if somebody wants to fussy cut out some of these little bird images. Um, there is all kinds of birds. They're just beautiful. Um, I don't use birds a lot in my journals. I usually attach them to the outside of my white envelopes when I send an order out. But I thought if somebody wants to fussy cut these, I will be happy to send them to them. Um, so this is one little package and you just get, oh, there's a cute little bird. Um, you'll just get the whole package. That's uh, on one of the listings is just all these bird fussy cuts. And there's quite a few of them. It's quite a stack of bird pictures. So that is now over on my Etsy shop as well. Let me just get rid of this. So that's another little bundle. And then I did add the 12 rose pages from that planner. So that's one little package as well. And these are a nice ivory, creamy colored pages. So you can cut them down and you can use them as is. But these are single pages and there are 12. I've added these, I think there is about 20, I think of these. And these you can just, I think a couple of them have been cut to the square. Uh, there's one. So you can cut it out. There are roses, I believe, on both sides. So you can choose which rose you want to use. Or if you want to use both sides. So you're getting 20 pages that are double-sided with the roses on them. Well, that one doesn't, but... Some are double-sided, some are not. So there's 20 of those. If you want to make some journaling cards or something, that's one of the little packages. This is one of those field guides for mushrooms. There are two pages that I didn't really include in the number count, but that I are cut down and or cut out. But there are, I think, a dozen of these pages of these little mushroom pages that you can either fussy cut or use the page as is. Again, single pages. Some great little mushroom pictures. So there's a little bundle that's on my Etsy shop. These are from a Hummel book. Um, it was in Dutch, I believe. Uh, and there are about 20 of these as well, approximately. I'll have to check the, the listing, but um, these are from a book. And they're in, again, it's either Dutch or German, I don't know. <laughs> Um, but there is all these lovely little children's pictures. Some of them were already, I already started to cut out. If somebody would like to use those in a book, some of them are just adorable. Anyway, that's a little bundle on my Etsy shop. 
and I only have them for a couple of bucks. I just need to get rid of them. Um, there's about 30 maybe of these bird die cuts and there are birds on both sides. So you choose which side you want to use. And these are a fairly good size. These are about three and a half by four and a half. So that's one of the bigger die cuts. So that's in my Etsy shop as well. These are book plates from a very old bird book. And uh, I just kept all the book plates. I just, I love the color of the book page, um, but they're more or less black and white or ivory in white and black, uh, but they're all just little bird pictures. A sparrow, a magpie, a partridge, and no, it's not in a pear tree. Um, a rookery, <laughs> warblers, and a wood pigeon. There's a whole bunch of those. So that's a listing in my Etsy shop if somebody would like to use those. Um, this is one set and this is all seashells. I think there's seven pages. Some kind of sea life. Love the colors of the pages, but I just don't know what I would ever use them for. So there are seven of those. Beautiful if you want to do a sea themed journal. And there is what I call water plants, plants that are near the water. And I just love the colors of these, the lovely light blue and greens. They're just gorgeous coloring. Again, so that's those pages are listed together on my Etsy shop all together. There is about, I don't know, I should have counted all these. I did in the listing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's probably about nine of these. And these are just ferns or fern-like plants. And the page, again, is fairly large. So that's a little bundle of book pages going as one package. And again, these are the six and a half by nine pages. So that's one little bundle. And then I have about six or seven of these little mushroom ones. Love the coloring in these. Yeah, I guess there's about seven. I don't know what kind of mushroom that is, but anyway, there's seven pages. Oops, seven pages of the mushroom pages. And that's a one little bundle. And then I have these botanical book pages. There's um, a couple that have been cut out. I think there's 10 that have been cut out and trimmed to a certain size, and the size is in the listing. And then there's probably a dozen or so that are this double page. So you have a plant on each side of the page and the text on the back. So um, this is one whole bundle of botanical pages. And then these are the single trimmed ones. That's whole, one whole bundle on my Etsy shop. And then I just took the remaining of the, what I call the fung, fungi, um, they were kind of in that mushroom book, uh, and I just put them in little bundles of four. So I just took four that were similar and put them in a little pile of four different pages. And again, these are random. I didn't, um, I don't think I put letters or anything. I might've put letters on these ones. I can't remember. But again, four of each one. And it just some of the coloring in these pages are just gorgeous. So if you can use these in your journals, I love that one. Um, again, these are on my Etsy shop for four pages. And I did put for the shipping, if you order more than one, it is a decreased shipping cost. So there's quite a few, I love the colors in that one. That one has some mushrooms, some vines, and another one, I love the color in that one as well. So that is now, these are now all on my Etsy shop. I'm, this is the last of my ephemera that I'm going to be getting rid of. I love the reds in these. This is nice if you want those reds and browns, the earthy tones. And then the last one. Again, more of the stringy, leafy type of fungi. So those are all listed separately with sets of four pages. So that's all in my Etsy shop now, as of today. Um, I will get this, try and get this video up. Today is Saturday, so I'll try and get this up tonight so that you can see it. Um, I'm going to be starting on doing a video on my journals as well. I know I've been trying to get to those, but I've been trying to clear off my tabletop and get rid of this ephemera, and then I can move on to the journals. So that'll be coming next.
Thanks so much for watching. See you real soon. Bye for now.